dancers, welcome back to my channel. I'm Claudia Dean and I have the beautiful Erin. Hello. Erin hasn't been on my channel yet, so it's great to have her on here. Now today, we're going to be doing a really exciting tutorial for you all. It's all about turns, finishing and attitude and arabesque. So Erin, do you want to show me an on day or turn finishing in attitude? Just as best as you can. We haven't done any tips on it yet, so let's go. Attitude, that's it, that's good. And now do you want an arabesque? Good, that's okay, that's good. Okay, so that's the before, and then I'm gonna give her lots of pointers now on how to make them perfect, and we're just gonna do it tip by tip, so you can all follow along with us. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> and I think let's get straight into it. Tip number one. Now, Erin, this first tip, it involves some props, okay? And the props are paper clips. Now, dancers that are watching, I actually put paper clips on dancers' hips to keep them completely level. So I feel like a lot of dancers, they get told, keep your hips square, but because it's such a commonly used correction, it kind of just like goes on top of your head. So what I like to do is use these props because then you can actually see the sparkling silver shining and then you know that they're not square or they are square. So we're gonna put the clips on Aaron's hips. Let's go. And whatever you do dancers, make sure they're even. Okay, perfect. Now Aaron, what I want you to do is I want you to basically do your first pirouette. We're gonna face the corner. So do your first on day your turn. And I know this tip isn't really yet to do with the attitude or arabesque. This is more so to do with getting your hips square for the turn. Because if you're really square for the turn, then it's gonna be so much easier to extend your leg out. So try and do a pirouette for me, keeping those hips completely level, and then you're gonna extend your leg into attitude at the end, okay? Let's go. Level hips, level. That's it, okay, so if you were to actually do it in front of the mirror, go to here, so come this way so you can see, I think that hip ever so slightly, it's like two centimeters up. Try and drop it down, you can see the silver. One, two, keep it down. Better! Perfect! Yeah. That was Tip it. number two! Okay, now Erin, this one is about making sure when you take off your pirouette and you have to land into attitude or arabesque, you've got to think about those two movements, so the pirouette and the attitude and arabesque as two separate things. You can't think of them as the same step because when we go into attitude, obviously our pelvis slightly changes and we go into an arabesque, our pelvis slightly changes too. So we do a pirouette, we keep our pelvis and clips on our hips square. Then as soon as you finish that turn, you then think about your attitude. Yep, try and do that for me. So face that way. So think about the turn. Now think about your attitude. Better, that's perfect, that's it. So dancers, if you're trying this at home and you're finding that you get to about like here, so let's just say Erin's in retiro and she's there, and then if you're extending into attitude now, you'll probably find that motion there will actually throw you completely off because you're starting that movement too early. So make sure you start it at the last second. Tip number three. Now, Erin, this tip involves a muscle called your VMO. And I know that you're very aware of your VMO. And dancers, if you don't know about the VMOs, make sure you go and watch my latest video about perfecting your posture on the bar, because I talk about it there. And I think I also talk about it in some of my pirouette tutorials as well. Actually, while I say that to dancers, I'd recommend before you even watch this tutorial, go and watch my latest pirouette tutorial as well. So you get perfect on day or turns before you even think about this. Okay, in that video, Erin, I spoke about a muscle called your VMO. Now, your VMO is a very important muscle, and as I said, in that video, I explain exactly how to activate it. But as you already know, you know the exercise that I'm about to do. You've got to feel as though that inside of your VMO there is really rotating and about to touch those mirrors down in that corner as you actually land into attitude and arabesque. So let's do this little exercise before we do the turn. I'll show you what to do. So we're gonna go lock the knee, then twist and rotate the VMO and then relax, lock the knee, twist and rotate, that's better, and then relax, and again, lock the knee, twist and rotate, 
and then relax. So you know that twist and rotate feeling? You're gonna be thinking about that as you extend your leg into attitude or arabesque. So think about twisting and rotating your VMO to those curtains. Go. That's it, perfect, that's great. Now do arabesque for me. So turn, twist the VMO, now. Yeah, that's it, that's right. Try it once more and do it a little bit sooner, Erin. Think about it almost when your body's facing that direction, not that direction. Go. That's better. That's it. That's much better. So the strength of those VMOs are very important for turns like this. And also, you know another thing too, dancers? When you're actually rotating the VMO, you can also think about your opposite hip, so the right hip going to that corner. What about you try and do one now thinking of that? So everything's going away from one another. Now, away, away. Yeah, no, that's good, that's good. So you might have had a little bit too much force going this way. So if you had more of the VMO, it probably would have counterbalanced it a little bit better. One more go. Now counterbalance it. Yeah, good girl, that was good. That was a very nice turn though. Yeah, good. <laughs> tip number four. Now Erin, I'm gonna be talking to you about a tip that involves your back foot. What I find with most dancers is when they go into attitude and arabesque turns or turns landing in attitude and arabesque, because you're a little bit uptight and scared about doing it, you end up being quite reluctant to push your weight forward into the turn because you're kind of anticipating like that backwards feeling. So what I'm going to get you to do is almost feel that when you're in fourth like this, just go into your preparation. Imagine if my foot was here on top of your back foot, okay, and you had to push away my foot and use your back foot to push you up into the turn. So go into retiro now for me, Erin. There, so when you're in a pirouette position, everyone, obviously we know we've got to be in like a straight line this way. Most people end up looking like that. Yeah, so we've got to try and push you into this position, okay? Give that a go. So here, now this turn might not work, but you're gonna try and push my foot away, okay? One, two, go, push! Whee! Yeah, that's the idea. Okay, give it a go without me now. This can even be good for normal on day or turns dancers. So use that force to push you forward, okay? One, two, three, go, push! Yeah, that was really nice. Could you do a triple into attitude? Maybe. <laughs> Let's see. When you've got to do a triple, you've got to use more force. One, two, go! Oh, so close! That was so close. See, that's good. Tip number five. <laughs> Dancers, this tip is about where you actually lower to go into your attitude and arabesque. Now, you know how I mentioned that point about making sure you finish off the pirouette before you think about the attitude? When you're finishing off the pirouette, I would really recommend you do that almost towards the front of the room so that when you actually then go into the attitude now best you've kind of slowed down and put the brakes on the force. So Erin could you try and do that for me even for a triple like go one, two, three, land on fast then go into your attitude and use your back foot. Brakes. Yeah, that's the idea, that's the idea. And I have a feeling my next tip in a moment is gonna help you with that even more. But give it one more go. One, two, go. Now lower, lower. Yeah, that's okay, that's okay. Okay, so this has led me into tip number six. Okay, so tip number six, Erin. You have to remember when that heel hits the floor, that's your brakes. It can't keep moving after that. It's like you've got to be so stubborn with that left foot that when it touches, that's it. Try and do that. Tell your heel what to do. Don't let your heel tell you what to do. Go. See? <laughs> See, try and be more stubborn with it. It's naughty, isn't it? It likes to keep moving. Go again. Go. Heel, oh, I mean, you know what? <laughs> it actually didn't move, like it didn't keep moving. It got stuck, but there's one more thing that I think is gonna make it perfect. So, drum roll. Tip number seven. seven. Oh, I did eight, oh my God. I didn't do any, I didn't. Tip number seven. Tip number seven is, when you extend your leg, you know your two hips and your two clips, 
and your pelvis have to be over the top of your left big toe. So just then, with tip number six, you planted your heel, but you know what you did? You went boom, and your hips fell off your supporting leg. So you have to keep your hips on top of that big toe. That's it, try and do that now. On top of it, good. So that was an amazing save, wasn't it? Because that one, I think if I hadn't have said that, I have a feeling you probably would have kept falling this way. Yeah. That was good, try it in arabesque now. Go. Go, plant them. Good girl. <laughs> amazing. Tip number eight. Now Erin, tip number eight is about when you actually extend your leg, I want you to imagine that you know your foot, there's a fishing line connected to your foot and your head. So when you actually extend out, just face this way for me, just so everyone watching can see, go up. So there's a fishing line there to there, to the center of her head. So when she extends, you see how that alignment from there to here is completely connected? That's what you've got to focus on. So Erin, I'll show you with my body. So from here, I go up, and as I'm extending, see where my foot is? It's in line with my head. That's what you've got to do. So in other words, everyone, it can't do this. It's got to go straight out. Straight out. Yes. I mean, that's a triple into attitude. <laughs> Amazing. Like you were just doing doubles. You are falling out of a double before. Yeah. Awesome. Go again. Maybe do it for arabesque now. So straight to arabesque. Straight to arabesque. Yeah, see that's better. And don't you think too, the accent of it, like you thinking of, I think that also helps you too because it makes it more coordinated. So everyone try that too. When you lower that heel, it's almost like the leg has to be out by that moment. Tip number nine. <laughs> this one, what I want you to think about is, your leg must be at 90 degrees when you extend. And the reason why is, if it's any lower, and this always happens. This goes for anything too, dancers. Whenever you're extended into an attitude, arabesque, second, whatever, if it's lower than 90, the gravity's gonna pull you. Mm -hmm. However, if you have it at 90, it'll just keep you completely on balance. It's all like really scientific, so you have gotta think of it like that. So always 90 degrees. Try doing that for me. Ooh, that was pretty. That's the idea. <laughs> Do it again. Hey, you should try and do one. Try and do like a double, like going straight to extension. Staying on demi point, but keep it at 90. <laughs> See, that's it. It's amazing like when you think of all those things. Perfect. Tip number 10. <laughs> now, what about we try this tip to the left, just because why not? Oh, no. <laughs> Okay, I feel like your right ones are really good now. So let's face this way, go to your left pirouette prep. We're gonna land this in arabesque and everyone that's watching this, this tip is aimed for arabesque only if you're allowed to land on fondue. I find a lot of people when they do a turn and I say, okay, now land in arabesque, they fondue, but it's like a fake fondue. You've got to remember that when you try to fondue, you've got to let everything go down into the floor. Because once again, that's your stability. So try and do double pirouette, land in arabesque on fondue. Okay. Yeah. Fondue, into the floor. See what I mean? That's it. Yeah. You notice you started to do like a dodgy one, then you went, Ugh. that's yeah. what you gotta do. Try it again. Maybe you can do it on the left. Yeah. Fondue. That's it, that's perfect, okay. So everyone make sure you listen to that too. Thank you all so much for watching this video and we hope you learned a few new things about turns finishing and attitude and arabesque. Mm -hmm. Comment below what your favorite tip was and what worked for you. Mm -hmm. So don't forget to like, comment and subscribe Whoop. and we'll see you in my next video. Yeah. Bye. I did this again. <laughs>